want to talk for a few minutes about this process of erythropoiesis. I said hemopoiesis is making of blood cells. Erythropoiesis is the making of red blood cells, erythrocytes. And it all starts, we had, had said, and if you're following along in your packet, you see that there's a, a the red bone marrow is where blood cells are made. And so what we have is we have what we call pluripotent stem cells. These are stem cells that are specialized to, to give rise to the different kinds of blood cells. And so some of these pluripotent stem cells differentiate into something called an erythrocyte colony forming unit and basically what that is is a red blood is a cell that has now become specialized to where it will become red blood cells and and these erythrocyte colony forming units go through a, a proliferation stage so you make a whole lot of them and then they start becoming a red blood cell. Now, what does it mean to become a red blood cell? All cells are basically alike with the exception of what they are doing. And when you're a cell and we talk about what you are doing, it has to do with protein synthesis. So what's happening is you have these, um, these erythrocyte colony forming units that become what we call an erythroblast. And the erythroblast, basically, its nucleus says, okay, let's start making a whole lot of the protein that's important for a red blood cell, hemoglobin. We just said hemoglobin is what's going to be carrying oxygen. So the erythroblast directs its nucleus to start making hemoglobin. It, makes, it, it transcribes uh, RNA that is then translated into the polypeptide chains that go into becoming a hemoglobin molecule. And, and it's going to sequester the, the iron that's nester, necessary as well. So this is going on. Um, you might have noticed, if you look carefully at the picture at the beginning of this chapter, the cells were really weird looking. The red blood cells are weird looking because they don't have a nucleus. And so if you lose this big ball from the center of the cell, you become sort of a cell that isn't full. So you expel your nucleus, and so you're a bag of cytoplasm, basically, um, without a nucleus. So you have what we call a biconcave shape. You look a little bit like a donut. And so, so as we are, after a while, the erythroblast, the nucleus has done its job to make the messenger RNA that's going to be used to make the hemoglobin, and it expels the nucleus. And for a while, though, you still have translation going on inside of that cell. And I guess um, when people, you know, early microscopists were looking, they'd say, wow, look at these cells. There's all this stuff in there, this web-like material. And so they called them reticulocytes. Reticulocytes are erythroblasts that have already expelled their nucleus that are still producing the hemoglobin. Uh, eventually, these reticulocytes, they uh, finish this process of translation and they go into circulation as a mature erythrocyte. And we've said, how long do these things live? 